One of the easiest ways to save money is to know what you have. And here at the Business Club, we went through the effort of actually getting an assortment to see what our day is going to look like. We have breakfast, we have salad, and we even have dinner. But first, one of the things that we really like to do is to get a container and use it for meal prep. Meal prepping is super important, especially when you're trying to eat clean and when you're trying to budget. And the reason for this is because most people just go throughout their day just kind of snacking, and then they accrue a lot of calories when they don't even really know what they're eating, and they're just kind of going off of a whim. However, when you meal prep, you already have everything scheduled all into your day so you know exactly what you're going to eat in morning, noon, and night. And this lays out everything very neatly so you know how much you spend in the morning throughout your whole day and then when you can go to night resting easy knowing that you really didn't spend that, all that much money. One of the meals we decided to demonstrate for you guys today is actually a breakfast burrito. And we've gone through the prices and eggs usually run a cost from $1 to $1.23. Mind you, everything that we bought today here is from Walmart, but you can actually locate a lot of these items at your local food pantry. And the Northeast Texas Community College actually has a food pantry, which I highly recommend you visit. And now, moving on and going forward, like I said, the eggs, $1, $1.23. That's usually what they run for most places, like places like Aldi's, I know, actually gives them for 92 cents at some times. So that's very cost effective. Moving forward, just the salsa is $1.98, and this will run you most likely for more than a whole week's worth of meals, unless you're a salsa enjoyer. And moreover, we could look at the diced potatoes, and you can get these diced potatoes. You can even get your own a bag of potatoes for about $3, and that should actually last you for about two or three weeks. This certain can that we picked out today was about $0.78. Cents. Moving forward, we see the shredded cheese and our bacon bits. The shredded cheese runs about at $2.22, and the bacon pieces run at $1.33. You'll see these food pieces being actually cameoed in our other choices that we decided to demonstrate for you guys later. And the tortillas, they cost about $1.48. Overall, with all of this combined, you're about to see probably 12 to 10 breakfast burritos. And that could last you a whole day, maybe if you're super hungry, but realistically, it's probably going to last you the whole week. And this is looking about for $9.02 for everything that I've shown you today. And this averaging out per five days is super cost effective, especially if you're trying to dime on a budget. So to begin, we're gonna take our eggs and actually crack them open. Usually it just takes about one egg per tortilla per burrito. So with a dozen eggs, you're looking about 12 burritos. You could whisk them and you could actually fry these eggs and make, scramble them in a pan or you could just do them in a microwave like we did today. And then we're just going to throw Now you could add your potatoes and then put it into the actual frying pan or you could actually heat these up in your microwave separately, however you want to do it, whatever suits your fancy. And as a finished product, what you're going to see and what you're going to have is these two neatly prepped burritos. And they're very delicious and they're actually very cost effective throughout your whole week. Averaging about two a day, that's a very hearty breakfast for you or for anybody that you're trying to meal prep for. It's nice to have something to grab and go during the week. We talked about meal prepping and how that really will help and it saves you time and money. So the salads we're going to be making here, uh, we're going to make four salads and it's going to cost us under $15 whereas where you go to McDonald's or any other fast food type restaurant you're going to pay approximately $7 for a salad. I'm going to show you how to make four salads and we're going to meal prep using Tupperware. You could use mason jars or anything you have available resource wise. Uh, this salad, this bag of salad will actually last you more than four salads but we're just going to make four. So you're going to take some chicken just a handful. The chicken is a rotisserie chicken from Walmart. It was $4.50. Um, however, we have a food pantry at NTCC and that's a good resource to use if you need to be more cost effective. We have a shredded cheese. The shredded cheese costs $2.22 at Walmart. Just a handful. Looks nice.
Then we have the bacon pieces, a dollar and thirty three cents. No, it doesn't take much. This is going to last you a lot more than four salads. Probably a whole month supply of salads. tomatoes with two dollars and 49 cents at Walmart however they're cheaper in other places such as Aldi's and this will last you more than four salads as well and as I said earlier this bag of salad is going to last you more than four salads okay. If you're on the go and you don't have a container to carry your ranch in, you can use a little sandwich baggie. And you'll just fill it up and tuck it away in your salad bowl. And then when you're ready to use your, use your dressing, you can just snip off the end or you can open your salad baggie or your ranch baggie and squeeze it out. It's that simple. And now moving on to dinner, arguably the best meal of the day. What we decided to demonstrate for you guys is a slow cooker chicken and rice. And what we have for you is this very, very cheap, cheap dinner. Everything that you see here costs about $10.93, and you're going to get six to eight servings or even more than that. So first, what you want to do to actually start this slow cooker chicken and rice, you want to dump out all of your chicken broth, which costs about $1.22 inside of your crock pot. After having poured all your chicken broth inside of your crock pot, you're next going to put your chicken inside of it. And this actually costs us $4.44 compared to the rotisserie chicken which costs us $4.50. And these are interchangeable and you could just really use either or depending on whatever suits your fancy on the given day. Next, you're one going to have to actually add the cream of mushroom soup. And this costs us 50 cents. And it's actually going to add a lot of flavor to it, as you're seeing later on when you actually eat it. All of this is actually going to take around 8 hours slow cooking inside of your crock pot, so you could leave it on during your class, or during the day, or just have it ready when you're coming, coming back home from work. Next, what we're going to add is the broccoli to it, to add more flavor to the actual chicken and to the whole broth in general. And the broccoli costs us a dollar, just roughly, for all of this. And mind you, this is going to be six to eight servings, so don't feel too bad if you don't eat a lot of it all at once. And now for the coup de gras, we're going to have our whole brown rice. The actual rice, you're going to put, usually it's about two cups of rice, and then you're going to have the ratio of that two to one with water, so that's going to be four cups of water. But our chicken broth actually does a trick, but you're still going to want a little bit of water to go along with it. And after this, you're just going to actually stir it all up this huge mess, but it'll look pretty once it's done, trust me. And after having put in all of your rice and everything in your ingredients, you're going to want to take this ranch salad dressing mix, which cost us just 77 cents. And this is really going to add a huge bang to your flavor, similar to the bang you're going to get out of your pot. And once again, after you have everything totally put into the side of the crock pot, you're just going to have to stir it for a bit and then just let the magic work on its own. Afterwards, you're going to put this on four hours on high or eight hours on low, depending how well you want to cook it or how it's going to taste. And then after a good, hard, long day of school, going through all your classes, doing all your homework, all the tedious things you do in the day, you're going to come home to a finely cooked dinner. And to top it off, what we can use, you could actually use this to garnish in your actual dinner later on. And we, this is just showing you that you're actually just stretching out your dollar and truly getting your bang for the buck because you're not only using this for your dinner, but you're also using this for your breakfast. You often hear how it's super expensive to eat clean, but here at the business club, we found ways to get around the McDonald's dollar menu. In fact, first, when we're talking about eating clean, the easiest thing to do, especially healthy and expense-wise, is to not drink your calories. You want to actually start drinking water, especially during the day, when you wake up, and before you go to sleep, because most often than not, you're not really hungry, you're thirsty. 
So even if you don't really like the taste of water, it doesn't really suit your fancy, you can buy these $1.16 to even $1 pou pouches of flavorings for about 10 packets per package. And what this does is allows you to go throughout your day without actually getting a lot of calories in, but you're pretty satiated throughout the whole day. Because like I said, you're not really hungry most of the time, in fact, you're just thirsty. Going throughout your whole day drinking at least about four to six bottles of water can actually just really destroy your appetite. I hope we showed you an easy way to stretch out your dollar throughout this whole process from breakfast to lunch and eat all the way through dinner. This is a business club and that's how we do business.